My name is Fred Light with Nashua Video Tours. In addition to doing real estate video tours, we also do photography. And I just want to show and illustrate uh, the difference between what most realtors are putting online to represent their properties versus what you could be putting online. I really do believe that your presence on the internet Whatever it is that you're doing to represent that property, that's curb appeal from 10 years ago. In other words, the majority of people right now are looking online for real estate. And depends on what you read, it could be 84 to 90, 95%. What they see online is going to determine whether they eliminate your property or not. And it's that simple. So you have to have the best presentation online. And that means the best photographs, and that means the best virtual tours or video tours. Because if you skimp on that, they're not gonna just pick up the phone and call and, and go drive out to go look to see if maybe it looks better than it does online. Uh, there are so many properties online right now, you know that this is the way that they're eliminating their properties and their choices. So it's in your best interest and your seller's best interest to represent that property in the best light possible. This is a Canon uh, S500 digital ELF camera. This is a great little point and shoot, takes really good pictures. Uh, I love it, it's convenient, but it's not the best camera to take photographs of interiors of homes. And this is the type of camera, and honestly, most realtors don't even use a camera of this quality. This camera right now sells for between $350 and $500 online. Uh, most realtors are using cameras that are not even of this quality, okay? Um, and nothing about this camera is as good as a digital SLR camera. The sensor is not as good a quality. The optics are not as good a quality. Uh, as you can see, um, you know, this is quite a bit different. Um, matter of fact, this lens actually costs about three times as much as this little digital ELF camera costs. And the camera itself is about the size of the lens. This, this camera is like I said, is better than what most realtors are using to take their photographs for the MLS. And what I want to demonstrate to you today very quickly is the difference between a camera like this and a professional grade camera with a wide angle lens. Um, now, in addition to that, when you take a picture with a point and shoot, most of the time you're going to be using a flash, which really blows out a lot of the detail and the color of the photograph. When we take photos, we don't use a flash at all okay, ever. And that way you really get the true coloring of, of the home and the walls and the fabrics, and it just, it jumps out, it's more vibrant. So just take a look at these samples and tell me if you don't see a huge difference. The other thing that's very important is that as you're trying to sell a home, you're not trying to sell a dining room set or a sofa or a fireplace. You want to show the entire room. You want to show the relationship between rooms. You want to show the space of the room. And what you get with a small point and shoot camera is there's just no range there. And, and really all you're doing is showing furniture. And people aren't buying furniture. People are buying a house. At the end of this, I'll give you a link where you can go and actually look at the full-size photographs uh, taken with both of these cameras, and you can see the tremendous difference. And if you're really looking to sell that property and make the best presentation that you can online, there's no substitute for good photography.